Hi all, and now we are going to discuss about bold solenoid. This is the third one, third type of solenoid. And bold type solenoid actuators can be applied fluid control applications mainly. And the structure, when we are going into the deep to the structure, the movable part is like a, uh, the structure like a ball and it should have a housing it consists of a coil and have a plugger stopper and nevertheless and as we have discussed in the case of all kinds of solenoids the bone solenoids is uh, mainly using for airbag deployment and in vocals and this is the main, uh, the most uh, important application of ball solenoid in real time. And uh, automatic transmission system, um, also in automatic transmission, it uh, is preferably using. And uh, it have good sealing capabilities due to the structure. And uh, the response time is very less. It is a structure, the architectural uh, change of this ball solenoid. And the, one of the major thing when we can, uh, when we should have to analyze the ball solenoid uh, have the air gap between the housing as well as the plugger stopper is not unique. It is unevenly, we can say that. And due to the unevency of the air gap from the ball soil to the plugger stopper, we can uh, embed the system into the multiple application. Like I have already uh, said like airbag deployment and uh, automatic transmission systems as well. Okay. And moving to the characteristics of this device. And as we have discussed in the case of last two uh, solenoids, this is also have almost same characteristics, time-based analysis, in the case of applied voltage, flux, current, net force, and spring force and displacement of the ball, almost similar to the last two we can uh, we have already discussed. But in the case of net force, when we are releasing, when we are uh, applying a voltage in the reverse manner or the normal to the zero position, it moving to the minus one lagging to the net force. That means. The total system comes uh, comes to the normal position, not only the normal position initially when we are removing the force applied voltage in, in the case of PWM, your system is processing a net force of lag, that means minus, uh, minus in the nature, net force of minus in the nature. That means your system required more energy, more uh, voltage uh, for excitation. Because, and in the last cases we have discussed, uh, your system is starting from uh, the net force we have uh, required from the, uh, the force we required to start the initial position that should be in the zeroth position. But here we can say that that is not in the zeroth position that is uh, below the line. Okay, so this, me this means that you required, we required more energy to excite this uh, ball sonar. Okay, and moving to the dynamic characteristics of the device. And uh, this is the air gap, is the normal air gap. And uh, if we are applying uh, the voltage and then after one microsecond, we can, if you are seeing one millisecond, if you are seeing the, ch the chain position change in the system like this. Okay, flex is very less and moving of the mold, the air gap should be like this. And after uh, two millisecond, it should be like this, B. And after four millisecond, the air gap is very, very less. And it's coming near to the plugger stopper. And at the last position, when we can say the air gap is negligible, negligible, air gap is zero at the both ends, the top end and the, the bottom end of the device. And as well as the magnetic flux is also rising in the system. 
okay and that's all about uh, the ball solenoid and in this section we have uh, detailed uh, detailed discussed about what is plugger solenoid what is the structure of the plugger solenoid and how what are the main application implementation phases applicability of the plugger solenoid as well as static and dynamic characteristics of the plugger solenoid okay that's all